Hello guys, this is Prankur. Welcome to my channel Begin Endless Automation and today we are going to learn how to handle XML data in UiPath. So first of all, as we all know that XML is an extensible markup language which is both human and machine readable and it is one of the fastest way to transfer the data. In UiPath, firstly we'll see how to execute XPath and get the required data. And then we'll see how to deserialize an XML and get the required data. So let's go to UiPath and see how we can do that. So before that, I would like to show you our demo XML. So this is our XML, which is having a root element. Under that, we have four student and co elements. So we'll extract the data from this element. So first of all, you will have to read the text file so I'm reading the text file and it will return me a string so I have put that data into XML string now let's check the activity execute XPath will return string data so I'll put that in result variable and I'll have to pass either either existing XML or the XML string so for now I am passing the XML string now, to writing or executing the XPath, we'll write it like string and our root element, then child element. Then we want to know the name. We have to provide the indexes also. So let's say I want to know the second element is student info and what is the name given in that. So let's see what will give us. Take a message box and print a result. Let me run it. So as you can see, the second element has name as Pranshu. So it has given me Pranshu. Now let's say I want to read an attribute. So I'll write it like that. And let's see. So as you can see, the attribute ID is 002. So that's how you can iterate or get the value from executing XPath. Now let's see the second option. For that, you'll have to first deserialize the XML. So you just have to provide your XML variable, will provide you X document. So let me take that variable X talk. Now, let's see a for each loop. Let's take a for each loop. Uh, when you take a for each loop, don't forget to change the type argument to system.xml.linkU.x element to traverse in the XML. So now write x doc. We want root element, then all the elements. Dot elements of root. Dot elements and if we want to go further so i will write student info also now let me print so it will print all the elements given in the student info one by one that are name and class from each element of student info so let's write type item dot root string let's see what it gives let me run the file so as you can see it has given me the whole element first student info second in student info third info and the last one so in this way if you want the whole node you can type it like that or if you want Further individual elements, you can just write 
student.elements. So now we'll traverse to each and every element of student info that is name and class. As you can see, this is the first one. This is the second element of the first student info node and so on. So that's how you can traverse through XML and create or edit your uh, existing XML. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you.